Welcome back everyone to another video and in this one we'll take a look at Android TV or AOSP TV to be more precise running on the Heike 960. Now as you can see I have my blank display up and in a second I will power on the Heike 960. So as soon as I power it on it takes only a few seconds for the Android logo to come up and let's wait for it and yep we actually ended up skipping the android logo because uh, ufs was pretty fast um so let's go ahead and uh, there's this kind of a small thing you need to do before going into the android tv uh ui and as you can see we are on the android tv ui running on the uh high key 960 now of course this looks a bit different because this is as I said AOSP TV but as soon as we go into the settings it will look similar to the uh, Android TV experience uh, of course this is running the uh, Android master branch so you will see uh, it show up as Android Q so if you go into device preferences about uh, you can see the version is Android Q and not, not Android O or Android 9 or something like that uh, again running master branch uh, it was compiled a few days back and um, yeah so AOSP TV on Heike 960 this is the lean back launcher which luckily for us was upstreamed or the APK was uh, put on to the Android source master branch and that way we can uh, use that without uh, doing the whole copying the binary from the Nexus player device and things like that. So we can actually run and build AOSP TV for Heike 960 out of the box. Uh, so a few things to keep in mind, uh, the Wi-Fi UI for some reason right now uh, does not have a next button. So if I select any other uh, AP, I can type in the password, uh, but there's no way to go ahead. There's no next uh, as such. So what I usually do is to resort to a third party application. Uh, which I have downloaded and can be accessed via apps, uh, see all apps and then uh, show system apps. You can go down and you can pretty much download any app you want uh, and you can see I have the Wi-Fi connection manager here. Uh, I can open that up and uh, I can actually go ahead and try that out. So uh, that's how I've connected to the Wi-Fi right now. There isn't a whole lot of apps that are available as you as you know this is an AOSP build so it's pretty minimal. Um, just for a basic demo you have the videos by Google app but you can uh, sideload any APK you want like a regular Android build. Uh, so you know whatever is supported YouTube or any other APKs you want. Uh, Kodi works pretty well, I uh, don't really have it on hand but you can go ahead and you can see this is how the Android TV UI kind of uh, looks like. So this is again a demo application and if I go ahead I can uh, play one of them uh, and there it goes. So if you are wondering how I am controlling all of this, I have a small portable keyboard right here. It's connected by a USB dongle. I don't have uh, Bluetooth remote to test everything with uh, how it will look on uh, how it will work with uh, Android TV remote device but for now this works pretty well so that was about it a small demo of AOSP TV running on Heike 960 uh, the instructions are pretty easy to build it if you know how to build AOSP already you just have to select the Heike 960 TV or Heike TV lunch target and that should give you a build that works just fine on either of the boards. I'll be linking a blog in the description which goes a bit into the details of um, building it so make sure you take a look at that and for now thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.